Oh, hey, Dad. What's up? Hey, son. What are you doing? Oh, just looking at some of this new Scar Audio. Scar Audio? In this house, we only run sundown. That is right, guys. Finally time to take a proper look at the Sundown ZV-6. Now, most of y'all will know I got the sub actually a little while ago, and I ended up blowing it before I could even make a full review of it, which partially was my fault. So really, really excited to have this thing back, fixed, and ready to give it a proper review. Now I want to give JP over at Down For Sound and Dave over at Sundown Audio a huge, huge shout out for helping me get this guy fixed and taken care of. So basically there is this Facebook page called Base Heads on a Budget, and this guy named Connor posted in there just something about me blowing the sub and uh, JP and Dave both saw it and they commented on it and said they would take care and get this guy fixed. So that is what happened. I got to drive down to Sundown. They're located pretty close to me. So dropped it off within a few days. They had this guy fixed and back and ready to go. So anyway, I just wanna thank everybody involved so, so much for helping me get this guy back, get it back in good order so we can do a proper video. Okay, one really cool thing, I actually have a spec sheet for this fella. At least at the time when I went and got this fixed, they did not have one out yet. So they actually ran all the TS parameters on this exact sub to get these uh, specs that everybody wants to know. So here everything is. FS is 35.26. BL is 19.76. There is the sensitivity numbers right there. Now I asked Dave what the X max on this guy was and he said at least 40 millimeters. So that is awesome. This guy has some insane throw. Cannot wait to get some proper videos of that. So I wanna show you all this up real quick. Then we're gonna throw it in the car and get right into it. Of course, real quick, here is the sub. You all have seen these things. You know what they're like. This basically looks like a ZV-5. Just some minor differences. Main thing being we have an eight layer coil in there instead of a four layer uh, coil. So that's pretty cool. Of course, we have the massive motor. We have the cool patented basket. We have the really nice leads, big old push terminals, this massive, massive surround, all the stuff you would expect to see on a ZV-6. Now, I think one of the reasons the sub may have blown the last time is that this box is probably a little small for that sub. That sub has a huge, huge motor on it, so it takes up a ton of airspace inside the box. So what we are gonna do, first we're gonna put it in regular so we can get some excursion videos and just do some normal stuff like that. But then when we really start to push it, I'm going to pull it out and uh, invert it. I think that'll really help out a lot. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, guys. First of all, let's do some test tones with this guy out and see how it looks. We got 40 hertz to start with. Okay, we got 35 hertz. We got 30 hertz. We got 25 hertz. We got 20 hertz. And 15 hertz. And you can see with this guy in here, it takes up a ton of airspace, guys. You won't believe how big this motor is until you see one in person. They are huge. But anyway, yeah, we'll play it like this. We'll still push it pretty good, but we're not going to go full beans on it like this until we have time to pull it out and uh, invert it. For anybody who might be new to the channel, we are powering this with a Taramps Base 8K. This is a dual one ohm sub. So we are wired down to half an ohm. Of course, we'll get some uh, impedance rise and whatnot, but yeah, we got this amp. We have a 250 amp alt under the hood and we have a bunch of lithium down here. So plenty, plenty of power. <laughs>
Y'all, so far, so good. Even with there not being a ton of airspace, this guy is still getting down, but let's go ahead and invert this thing and then really push it. Guys, this is exciting. Again, video does not do this thing justice, but this fella is huge. Definitely looks good, inverted. If y'all got this massive motor on your sub, you're gonna wanna show it off, right? Well, let's get to some videos, see how this fella really does. try the uh db test see how loud we can get this guy of course the sundown uh xv2 has the record for a 12 inch sub but maybe this guy can beat it who knows first we're gonna play a sweep just to kind of see where it peaks at then we'll go from there that was at 41 hertz it says 34 hertz okay we're gonna try 40 hertz and just kind of see what we get. Okay, we put 4,000 watts through it there. And we got a 141.6. So I think we're just maxing out. Let's try that again with a little bit less power. There we go, about 3,000 watts. And it says we got a 140. Okay, let's try 38 hertz, see what that does. About the same power but only a 137.9. Okay, let's try 35 hertz. Same power and only a 140. Got a 141.9. 141.7. So with this sub inverted, we're actually getting really not good scores whatsoever. Oh, not even breaking a 142, which is not good at all. Could just be it doesn't really like this setup. It does seem to be unloading kind of easy, so maybe I'll switch it back around before we do the DB test. One good thing to mention, I've been sitting here playing this for a while, really pushing it. And guys, it is like cold, cold. So seems to be doing all right as far as the heat. Anyway, let's flip this thing back around. Okay, we got it back regular. Let's do another uh, sweep and just see what that does. Still though, only a 139.5, says 38 hertz. Let's try it one more time, see if we get the same. About the same score, 34 hertz. Do it one more time.
33 hertz. So this thing does like to hit pretty low. Okay, let's try 35 hertz and see what we can get. 2100 watts. No, 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 140.9. Four thousand watts. And we got a one forty-two point seven. Forty-six hundred watts. And we got a one forty-four point three. Jeez, that thing is moving there. It says forty-seven hundred watts. But we did break up into a one forty-five, guys. That's not bad. Okay, let's try a uh, thirty-four hertz. Really, really moving. But no, that did not help. We lost some. Well, let's try a uh, 36 and see what that does. 4,500 watts and a 144. So 35 hertz seems to be the sweet spot. Y'all, a 145 at 35 hertz is not bad at all. Definitely an awesome score. Well, let's roll into it, play it for a little longer and just see what that does. Okay. Ah, now that helped a little bit, guys. Got a 145.3. Shoo! Fellas moving. Nope, oh, same score, guys. Still not bad at all. Well, we got a much better score with having the sub in here regular instead of inverted, so that is interesting. Definitely not what I thought was going to happen, but hey. Y'all, we got a 145.3. That is definitely in the top of the scores that I get. It's pretty rare I get a 145 out of a single 12. Only a couple have really beat that. And for the 12, the score is still held by the Sundown XV2, which I think was a 145.7 maybe. But still, not a bad score, guys. So this guy is no slouch. You do got to remember this box is probably not 100% ideal for it. So maybe at some point, we'll get a perfect box for it and we'll really test it and see what it could do with that. But still... No slouch at all. Okay, guys, let's do the musical RMS test. Now, of course, this guy is rated for 2,500 watts, but we're going to try to push it closer to three just to see how it does. Pay 900 bucks for a sub. It better handle it, in my opinion. So we got this set. Let's get into it. Well, what'd you think of that, guys? Definitely pushed it there really hard. Pretty much stayed above 3,000 watts most of the time. Even picked up at the 5,000, and it held on pretty good. I did smell it, though, so we definitely got her a little toasty, but hey, that is okay. Y'all, this thing does take the power, that is for sure. Man, he's good at Okay, the X-Max on this thing is insane, as you can tell. This is why you're buying this sub, guys. It's just because the X-Max is out of this world. That thing was moving there. Really started to stink, though, so we were pushing her a little bit too much. Well, guys, that is the proper review of the Sundown ZV6. Again, especially you want to give uh, Ryan Connors, JP, and Dave over at Sundown for helping me get this guy back. Thank you all so, so much. Y'all, this is an awesome, awesome sub. Really incredible sub. 
That being said, $900 is a steep, steep ticket in my opinion. Now, in my opinion, the XV2 or the XV3 really has a lot of what this sub has. If you're wearing something that is nasty in the lows, uh, really has some insane excursion and takes some really good power, those subs will have you covered for 90% of y'all. So I would say it's really only the really, really extreme people that really need something like this. Downside to having this guy, one, super expensive, two, having a sub this heavy is just an absolute pain. It is a pain to move around, get in and out of these boxes, stuff like that. Uh, if you do mount it inverted, you really wanna make sure you have some good bolts uh, mounting it, because if you were to get in a wreck or something, this motor is so heavy, it could easily fly off and um, really, really hurt somebody. So stuff like that to think about when you're getting subs. But anyway, again, awesome, awesome sub, incredible sub, just pretty expensive. And in my opinion, you can get other stuff cheaper. That is gonna be just fine. It's gonna do the job for most of y'all. But again, if you want the best of the best, maybe you need to check up the money for this fella. Well, guys, there will be links in the description below to grab this sub. Those are affiliate links. So should you click on those links before you purchase a sub or something else from Down for Sound, I get a little commission, which really, really helps out the channel, guys. So thank you all so, so much. Really appreciate each and every one of you watching. Stay tuned for giveaways. I do all the giveaways on my Facebook page. So check the link in the description below for that. Anyway, guys. That's going to do it for this video, but once again, thank you. Remember, as always, guys, keep basing on.